Hello everyone. In my last video, I have taught you about choosing the profitable alternate and this is a practical question and it's a practice for you. And if you have faced any problem, then you can ask from me. And the question is, uh, practicing chartered accountant now spends rupees 0 0.90 per kilometer on taxi fares for his client's work. He is considering two other alternatives, the purchase of a new small car or an old bigger car. The estimated cost figures are small new, uh, new small car and old bigger car. Purchase price 35,000, 20,000. Sale price after five years for new small car 19,000 and old bigger car 12,000 rupees. Repairs and servicing per annum for new small car 1000 rupees, old bigger car 1200 rupees. Taxes and insurance per annum for new small car 1700 rupees and old, old bigger car 700 rupees. Petrol consumption per liter 10 km for new small car, 7 km for old bigger car. Petrol price rupees 3.50 per liter. He estimates that he uses 10,000 kilometers annually. Which of the three alternatives will be cheaper? Ignore interest and income tax. In this question, first uh, you have three alternatives. First new small car, second old bigger car. The third one is rental based taxi. In this question, first you will calculate depreciation annually. And for calculation of uh, depreciation annually, in uh, for a new small car, this is the cost, 35,000 purchasing price and this is scrap value because after 5 years it will uh, sell in the form of scrap rupees 19,000. So, 35,000 minus 19,000 divided by working life, it means 5 years. Then in old bigger car, 20,000 minus 12,000 divided by 5. Then you will calculate depreciation annually. Then you will uh, find out the cost between uh, in three alternatives new small car old bigger car and for taxi for new small car first depreciation then repairs and servicing taxi and insurance and then for the calculation of petrol consumption per liter 10 kilometer it means 10 kilometer need for one liter and for 10,000 kilometer we calculate it and then multiply by 3.50 then it's the price of petrol and same here uh, 10 km for 1 litre petrol and then for 10,000 km <coughs> what litre uh, uh, in width litre and then you will multiply by 3.50 per litre and for rental based taxi 0 0.90 multiply 10,000 km then you will find out the cost of rental based taxi and then its uh, values or its cost was rupees uh, cost new small car rupees 9400 old bigger car rupees 8500 and for taxi 9000 rupees and in uh, all alternatives you will find out the best alternative is old bigger car because its price is lesser than other alternatives so your comment will be uh, we should accept the proposal of old bigger car of rupees 8500 and its price uh, or its cost is cheaper than other alternatives you will solve this question if you have faced any problem then you can ask from me so next application or uses of marginal costing is make or buy decision in this decision or in this application make or buy decision uh, in a product for making a product uh, we want many components and we were assembled uh, we we are assembled of all the product uh, of the items in that product so some uh, components we uh, want to manufacture manufacture it and we want to purchase from outside so in this decision we will take decision in that particular component we will make by self or we will purchase by it outside so the question is a radio manufacturer finds that while it costs to be 6.25 per unit to make component xx09 its component name and its cost is rupees 6.25 you can see here the same is available in the market at rupees 5.75 it means uh, that product we want to make its cost is 6.25 and my, uh, marketing cost is 5.75 each 
Continuous supply is also fully assured. The breakdown of cost is as follows. Material 2.75, labor 1.75. Other variable expenses 0 0.50, depreciation and other fixed cost 1.25 and total cost is to be 6.25 and the question is will you make or buy? Second, what would be your decision if the supplier offered the component at rupees 4.85 per unit in place of 5.75? So first in this question we will calculate marginal costing because uh, minimum price is marginal costing so first we will calculate. So marginal cost marginal cost of component material 2.75 labor 1.75 and other variable expenses 0 0.50 we will ignore fixed cost So, 5 rupee per component and it's making cost and buying cost rupees 5.75. So, in first point, our buying price uh, is rupees 5.75 and manufacturing price rupees 5 so we will save rupees 0.75 so you will write this comment we will save rupees 0.75 so we will uh, we will make this component so first proposal we will accept make because uh, this price is cheaper than buying price and in second case what would be your decision if the supplier offered the component at rupees 4.85 per unit, our price is rupees 5 and market price rupees 4.85. So market price is cheaper than our price and the difference is uh, 0.15. So in this case, we uh, uh, will not make that product. We purchase this component from the outside and the saving is rupees 0.15 so in second case we will uh, accept the proposal from purchase outside this component so you will uh, also write this comment it's most important and uh, if you have faced any problem then you can ask from me